let him go. Let him live to see another day. What's up guys? It's Emily. Welcome to our channel, Gale Force Twins. This is Captain Cam. We got Paul. Uh. <laughs> Today we are in Big Pine Key and we are going to go to the reef and hopefully catch some yellowtails. What do you think? I think it'll be good. The yep. snapper bite's been good, so we'll catch them. Maybe muttons. We'll see what else is out there. We just caught some pilchards. Got our live well going. Got lots of nice pilchards in there. So we'll see you out there. Anchored. We got our anchor out, our chum bag over the side. There's the chum bag doing its job. Cam is. Oh. Are you rigging a rod? Yeah, we're rigged, ready to go. Got a little yellowtail jig, piece of shrimp Tiny on it. Jig. Tiny little jig, little shrimp. 15 pound liter. Let's see if we can catch some yellowtail. Guys. Yellowtailing, all you do is open the bale, let the line out, let it free flow, flow, free flow. Pretend your little shrimp is a piece of chum floating, that's what I tell people. That's right. Make it blend in. Yeah. And then when you feel the bite, basically, you want to let the yellowtail eat it. Don't like jerk the rod or anything like that, let him have it. And then close the bale and start reeling. No setting hooks out here. It's a freshwater thing, guys, so we don't do that out here. Got him on. What we got? What <laughs> pound leaders on that? Forty pound circle hook. DJ. You got an DJ. Yeah. Let him go. <laughs> Not on the boat. There he goes. We got his double! Oh, hey, I got a mutton! <laughs> a little mutton. What do you think you're on, Cam? I have no idea. We need a pilcher on the flatline again. Need a yeah, it's not pulling like an amberjack. It'll be something different this time. It's going towards the anchor room. Paul's got a mutton snapper back there. <laughs> there we go. There we go. Got it. Yeah. Nice Big kingfish. Yeah. All right. We've got the kingfish on ice. The mutton snapper. Haven't caught a yellow tail yet. Don't really know why. We're marking them. Marking them. Not catching them. I changed my rig out. I got a sinker and a pilchard on the end of this. Send them down. Hopefully, catch something else. Guys, I haven't caught a fish yet. They keep out fishing me. <laughs> <laughs> Paul's got one on, Cam got, that might be his second mutton, Cam had the king, I gotta catch myself a fish. Here he comes. There he is. Hey, hey big dude. Nice mutton. Yeah, boy, bring him over here. Yeah. Nice mutton snapper, you see that, guys? 
Beautiful. All right, I think, is he going in the box? He's going home. Yeah, yeah he's, he's going to eat dinner. Box. He wanted to see That's right. <laughs> All right. Oh, you can see the pilchard. <laughs> he ate a pilchard, guys. You won't let go. There's the pilchard sticking out of his mouth. That's a nice, pretty fish, guys. Mutton snapper. Delicious. But I'll show you really quickly the rig that we had for the kingfish and the mutton snapper. We caught him on this jig and I believe it's 30 pound liter. Right, Cam? Yeah. 3 8 sounds jig also. Super simple guys, just strapping it down to the bottom with a pilchard on it, and that's how we caught both muttons, and one of the kingfish, the other kingfish was on a circle hook with a pilchard. Alright. Another fish for Cam. Oh, wow. Wow, We got a big margate. AKA the grunt. With the black grouper. Got a black grouper. I want a jig. I'm gonna let him go. He's too small. But that was my first somewhat decent fish. Finally. Finally, guys. Better late than never. <laughs> Another fish for me. Captain Emily. It's a cobia. Cobia, huh? <laughs> Look at that. Nice. You can't really get too much of the fight on film. He ate so fast. He ate a snapper jig, though. He did. Out here catching snappers. A nice cobia. Yeah, guys, we weren't really targeting him. And we just had a snapper jig on the bottom with a pilchard. And he ate it. And now we get to eat him. Right? That's right. You're here to catch a yellow tail. Good job, Cam, unreeling it in. Teamwork <laughs> made the dream work. Yeah. Put him on the ice? Yep. All right. What are you doing? There, there we go. go. <laughs> Alright guys, to show you all these fish that we caught. Quite a good selection, don't you think, Cam? Most definitely a good selection. <laughs> Really good quality fishing today. Definitely. So we kind of came out to target yellowtails. And they weren't really biting, but that's okay because we got some nice muttons. And I'll show you guys. Oh. Alright. Those are the nice muttons. We've got two of them. We actually caught more, but two keepers. We got two kingfish in here for smoking. There's the other one. This one's pretty big. And look at that, guys. It's a cobia. How awesome is that? Wasn't really planning on getting him or expecting that, so that was fun and exciting. And then this fish over here is the Margate. Basically a giant grunt. Pretty good tasting. Yeah. Looks yummy to me, guys. I don't know about you. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope you liked this video. Seeing all of the beautiful fish that we catch down here at the reef this time of year. We kind of came out to target yellowtails. They weren't really biting, but that's perfectly okay because we caught some nice muttons, kingfish, a cobia, which 
really cool. We usually catch the cobias in the Gulf, but this time of year you can kind of catch them on the Atlantic as well. That was a fun surprise. If you guys want to fish with Captain Cam, he runs a 36 yellowfin out of Marathon, so I'll put his information here. Make sure you follow Gale Force Twins on Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube, and like and subscribe for more.